Do you guys see that? That's a good amount of work. I have decided to go with beds today. You guys have sent me so many different ideas that I think apply to so many other blocks, including chests. And I didn't do a chest bed because chest beds might have a certain connotation despite the nature of this series. So it is Friday night once again, cursed images. I'm standing above, I'm actually standing on the bed right now. This is not a normal bed because the moment I jump down, it's a very tall bed. So it is right now nighttime. I put myself into uh, night vision mode so you guys can see that this is a bunk bed, except you can sleep. Yeah, I did that. You can sleep on these little rungs here, which are not really practical. Nevertheless, this is a tall bed, which is one of the first images you guys sent me to have a tall bed in the game. But then there are so many different ideas, like this one, which I'll show you, which is a Reddit post from Typical Emerald. And it's so easy to make this functional, but I didn't do that. Uh, because I don't want to blow this up. I might actually put a little clip at the end. The point is, this is a this is a suicide bed. Um, it's also like a phantom bed because phantoms want you to sleep, so they trap you. This is just completely obnoxious. Let's go through them. So we've got diagonal bed, we've got thin long bed, we've got very thin, very long bed, we've got fat long bed, normal bed, king size bed. This is actually quite normal. And you can see a hitbox because I've made all of these beds sleepable. That's not a word, but you can sleep in these beds. We have Exorcist bed, we have Exorcist 2 bed, we've got the Conjuring bed, we've got Upside Down Suicide bed, unlike that one, and we have Fluffy Yellow bed. Kind of looks like a torch or a pill. Anyway, we've got a bunch of different beds here. I could go all day with these, but I've decided to just cover my favorites. This one's a little bit different. Now, all of these use um, scaling, of course, which is kind of similar to everything else I'm doing here, but... This one is a little bit different. This uses the same idea as the tall chest, but uh, it's actually easier to do because we have a similar model for each one, which I don't really have to play around with. The chest has different sides, and this one only has like one side to it, uh, which I just have to scale upwards, and then we have the same kind of legs here, so it's not too difficult to do this one. But I've decided to make these functional, so if I can just right-click in this one. There we go, so I'm sleeping on... That's a terrible picture. Uh, this one is diagonal, uh, kind of. This one is just really thin. Very uncomfortable beds, these ones. Yeah, I'm looking at the camera there. Uh, we've got this one here. This one's the most normal looking because it's actually a normal looking king size bed. These ones I can sleep on the wall, like so. Uh, I didn't make it so I could sleep diagonally because there's no way, except for, I guess, modding the game, um, that I can... Where is this one? I can't click on it. There we go. Yeah, um, <laughs> I can't actually make myself diagonal, so I'm kind of just headbanging the wall there. This one is one way to do it. And then we have uh, the fluffy bed, which is kind of normal too. I like this. I like the color yellow, and that's why the channel is the color yellow. But this one actually looks kind of nice. I wouldn't mind sleeping in something that's really soft and cuddly. You may not rest now, the bed is too far away. There we go. I'm sleeping on this tall bed, and then I can sleep in any of these ones too. I'm moving again, because I'm in creative mode. Let's just not move. There we go. I'm sleeping in the middle of the ground and the bed. So, just a bunch of ideas that I was sent. Uses a lot of command blocks to set this all up. Oh, I remember. This is for the pressure plate. So, let's make this functional now. Okay, nothing's wrong with this bed. Oh, wait. There's a pressure plate. But then the layperson would think, the pressure plate doesn't work. There's no such thing as placing a pressure plate on a bed. Doesn't matter. Oh, something's happening. What's going on? Oh. <laughs> well, the bed is still alive because they're all entities. I've just destroyed this stuff. Anyway, this is all from a backed up world, so it doesn't matter. Uh, the point being, I've just done this. So I created an objective that allows me to track whether I'm sleeping or not. And then you can easily select the player when they're near that bed and then it triggers the pressure plate randomly any way you want. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content and for cursed images like this. I'm having so much fun with this series. We're on episode eight. That's kind of crazy. Otherwise, let me know what other things you want me to do for this series in the comments or you can tweet me at Phoenix Hamster. Thank you all for watching. Take care.